What's going on, everybody? Bobby Five, my man, Eric Sheetaber. We thought we would do a little video to talk about the second half of the NBA season while we talk about some future bets and stuff like that. Um, looking forward to having the season back. Nice to have a little break from it. Um, finished it stronger than than it started. Than it's than the, la the last two days were the best days of, of the year so far for me. Not not the full year, but the year since January. Um, so I'm ready to get I'm ready to get after it. But um, this is a you know this is this is basically the odds on any, all the future all the teams to win the title this year. And I think there's some value on some of these bets. And and I think it's really interesting because I'm actually surprised Phoenix is not the favorite. I would I would have thought they would have been because just I, I think that if that team is healthy, it's Kevin Durant is as much as I I don't love him as a person and I always root against him. That's a that's a like a ridiculous acquisition to have he and Booker on the same team and you still have Aiton and Paul like it's just a and they're still deep enough like I don't know I just feel like the Suns the Suns should be the favorite right now I still don't want to bet them at, at only four to one the, the the bet that stands out to me the most here is the is the same one I I, I liked before the year and that's the Sixers um I do think that's going to be a tough team to beat in a seven game series uh, you hope you don't get the bad Harden but you have some insurance that, that they didn't really have with other Harden teams in the past with guys like Melton and Maxi, and then obviously you've got Embiid in there. Um, Tobias Harris even just playing a role, but this team has played better and better basketball. I think they're going to make it really, really tough for some of these other, some of these other teams. They have a big presence, which can give Milwaukee a little bit of trouble with Giannis not just being able to get to the rim at will. Um, so, so I think that the best future uh, like value would be the Sixers, even though I, I think the Suns should be the favorite. And I think Milwaukee is the Milwaukee and Boston. I think you could flip a coin and say which one is better out of the East. I don't see Boston being that much better than Milwaukee, so I don't I don't necessarily agree with the odds you're getting there. And uh, I think this, the Clippers have a wonderful chance to win the title. So I I would consider maybe a long shot Clippers playing the Sixers in the finals for maybe even just doing a winner on both sides for a small amount because I think that's a really really interesting bet. Um, I like both those teams to have a chance to make the finals now. I just don't think that these other longer shots have enough of a chance here. I'm not, I wouldn't get into the Lakers. I, I do think the Warriors are, are mildly interesting at 17 to one, considering when they're healthy, their starting five is still the number one rated offense and in, in, I'm sorry, the number one rated team uh, point differential wise in, in basketball. So I guess the Warriors would be my next pick, but mostly I, I really like those two sheets. I know that you don't do as much of these things, but is there anything that sort of stands out to you? Like maybe you're surprised that the numbers are as high as they are, or as low as they are for any of these teams. I would be remiss if I did not point out that all of these lines are terrible um, by in definition. In general, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that that futures betting is 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 literally the worst, and you can you, you know that they're bad lines because they won't let you bet the other side. Okay, right. <laughs> like, right. like if you if you told me you know Celtics plus two seventy five, but if you want to bet on not Celtics, even let me play minus three fifty. You know what I mean? Like in MMA, you could do that. You know, right. uh, but this is, listen, this is for fun. This is, I, I presume that, that, that that's what few, these futures bets are for. And everybody kind of knows that they're getting whatever. What would be also kind of cool is if they could do like kind of head to head, like who goes further with right. odds, with odds right. or something like that, or, or more wins than the other one minus LA minus 120 even, or something like that. Or, mm -hmm. But, but this is a little bit ridiculous, mm -hmm. but I will just, I guess just by, you know, I don't even know. I, got, I presume that all these top teams are probably in the playoffs at least. Mm -hmm. um, I guess if I had to just pick something, uh, I it's okay. Let's 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 say, say what my son would say. Boy, maybe you can get like the best player in the in the league plus sixteen to one plus Kyrie. Maybe we should try Luca at sixteen to one. Right. Mm -hmm. Another thing you could say is, well, you can get the MVP at seven to one. At seven point five to one, so you get him. Um, so I guess the Mavericks would be, I guess my just awful attempt at finding value here. Mm -hmm. um, is there any way that 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 Morant is ready with the Memphis team? Um, Memphis, Memphis is it, is in, is the most intriguing because they're they're probably the best defensive team up here. Um, in like in terms of, not in terms of points allowed, but in terms of actual def defense defense. Um, but the problem is they're also the worst half court offensive team. They're the third worst in the NBA. And, and we all know in the playoffs, they're also the best transition offensive team, which transition slows down half court is more your game in the postseason. That's my argument for why I like Philly and don't like Memphis as much. Um, Dallas is going to be able to score a million points. 
I, I think that actually the guys they traded are going to hurt them a little bit because their defense is probably going to become the worst in the N in the NBA or up there. They're going to give it the most points pretty soon. And they went from this slow it down team. We didn't want to play in DFS. Just keep an eye out the second half of the year. You're probably going to want to target Dallas every game. <laughs> I, 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 have a, I have a really, really dumb question. I, yeah. I can't believe I'm asking this. But Milwaukee's in the East, right? Yeah. Milwaukee's in the East. That's not that, that's not that crazy. Okay, so I have uh, like I still I still have no idea what what division what 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 the league the Astros are in. <laughs> so, oh, I know because you know, it's been like nine different ones in our lifetime. I, I know we're like uh, how do you know? <laughs> but I'll give you one more. I'm fine. So so this is this is again I've I've I've, to I've toiled with this team for a while, and maybe this is old school defenses win championships or whatever it is. But I'll I'll throw in a defense win championships along with 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 a player. Who can get freaking scorching hot in the playoffs? Yeah. How about the Cavaliers or something like that? Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say Miami, but those both, but that that's no, you, I give, like, me, I like give me Donovan Mitchell and and great defense. And yeah. I don't know, maybe even and it's kind of stupid to bet them to win the East. Because if they can win the East, they can win the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like right. if, if they can get through all that that crap, you know what I mean? Like, I have no problem with them beating the Suns or whoever. You know, I so. agree with you. They they, they actually, I think it, like it's one of those teams where both them and Memphis, you're probably like a year away, but maybe not. Maybe, you know, we see things happen. T teams arrive a little bit early. Why not? Why not get a little, little bet in there and, and, and to take a shot on them? I would, I would take that shot. Um, I don't think that's a bad idea. I think the numbers are, are okay. Like, and, and, and when you said they're all terrible, I agree with you with the, that's why the Clippers and Sixers stood out to me. Because I do think you could argue if this if the season plays out 12 times that Philadelphia wins at least one of them. And I think you could argue that for the Clippers as well um, at 9-1. to one. Let's take a look, quick look. Um, let's see, what is this? This is to, well, Here are the wins. Yeah, I don't I don't want to bet on regular season wins at this point. I like to get before the season. It's really hard to try to chase the – because some teams are going to sit guys for certain games and down the stretch, like, you know, they don't even seem to care that much about home court advantage anymore. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, I I have I have a harder time with the with the wins at this time of the season. Um then the seeding that sort of sort of goes along along with that. 50 cent line. This is ridiculous. Yeah. The 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 the, 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 the see these point per game leaders are, are mildly interesting here because Lucas should drop a little bit. He's got a little lead right now, but I think there's a chance that you see Embiid um or Lillard possibly have a monster second half and see Lucas slow down and maybe even see Giannis uh you know, back down in his 30 minute range. And when they're sort of in cruise control, I don't know which way they're going to go with that one. It's pretty wild to see Shea Gilders Alexander is actually in, in contention for this, but that, that, that's just a thing that, that just sort of jumped out at me. But I think if I didn't go Luca, I would go Embiid. And I do think we should talk about, I would love to talk about the MVP odds because I had, I do have, I don't, I don't see that though. That's the, it I should don't. be up there for uh, what is it? If you maybe you scroll left on that one up at the top, I believe they have the player. Props. Um, player threes, player combos, player assists, player points. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. This is what happens when you don't get it in California. Otherwise, I could have just organized this. My bad. Uh, yeah, I know it's out there somewhere, but I don't know where exactly to find it. So I'm kind of confused. But oh, if you know where, where it says scoring leader, can you click on that? Just right, right um, down to the left. Yeah. That's what it is right here. Points per game. Oh, it doesn't allow you to change that. Okay. I thought maybe. Yeah. They, they should have the MVP because that's a big thing that people bet on. I know that uh, anyway, I, I do want to say about the MVP, regardless of whether we have the odds on the screen or not. I think Embiid is an incredible bet to win the MVP right now. Um, okay. He's, he's not nearly as close to the favorite. Uh, I think everybody is assuming that uh, Jokic wins it easily. And I really believe that it's going to be hard to win three in a row for Jokic, especially when in that one nationally televised head-to-head -head game and be just absolutely torched him and they don't get to play each other that much so people are going to look to things like that a little bit more than they ordinarily would um and let's see here we go i think we'll have it over here we're trying fan duel let's see to make the playoffs play uh, sports betting is not a <laughs> the block software that's what it's the zoom that's the problem oh that's why but they still should so i'm still very confused at why they don't just have the a regular no no uh, nope. play the uh, no nope. i know they have them because i've seen people i've seen people out there with them on, on fan duels i'm kind of confused by that maybe there's a way you can't do it in new york or something i don't know no no i, I just gotta email the guy and say where is it i mean i'm sure it's somewhere but um but i do think mb is is, is is a strong candidate uh just because i do think narratives win people a lot of a lot of mvps and i think that if they can get themselves in the top two of the east 
then I think you're talking about Embiid possibly being a better, you know, having, I think he and Jokic are closer to 50, 50 than most people think for, for the MVP this year. I think it's, it's, and yeah, well, Giannis you throw in there. So 30% each of them. I think that the, the, the way they're, you know, I think it was six and a half to one or whatever it was, as the last I saw on Embiid. And if that's really the case and you've got like, you know, Jokic at almost even money, I, I would just take the Embiid shot personally. Well, um, let me, I want to, I want to try something else. I, let me look at the standings for a second. Cause I'm, I must be able to say NBA standings. That's 2022. Sorry. Um, 2023. Um, so then are then, oh, the, the Nets are not a lock, right? Okay. The Knicks are the Knicks. Uh, you mean, which is not a lot. Like you could make odds to make the playoffs here. Like the Nets are going to make the playoffs. I mean, the Warriors, like the Nets, well, you'd have to lay like 12 to one. Like, yeah. But the Warriors are only minus three to one. Aren't they going to make it or no? They're barely, they're barely there. Oh. Look, look oh, at the okay. screen. But the, and, and then Steph's still nagging injury, but the, okay. you know, they're still, I still think that they're going to, I mean, if, if that's the thing that's weird about them. If we're questioning whether they make the playoffs, which is messing with their odds, but they should be worse than 16 to one then or 17 to one. Right. And right. Their team, right. If they were like 20 something to one, I, even 17 right. to one is probably enough where you could probably make a good argument to bet on them. Um, right. But it should be a really fun second half. Things to look out for right after the all-star break, expect guys to um, expect some of those, those giant explosion games from, from certain guys. Uh, post All Star break, especially on the national televised games, you're going to see guys play a little bit more minutes at first. That it'll be about it'll be a week or two before they start easing them down, and then they're going to ramp them back up for the playoffs. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on sort of how that's going. But I think you're going to see some monster performances, and I think you're going to look at more stars and scrubs lineups. There's also a lot of speculation because almost every team in contention made some sort of a move or another. So you're going to get like guys who are near minimum on certain days that, that might actually be much stronger plays than, than we think they are. So just something to keep an eye out for. Also, we want to make sure to let guys like Middleton and things like that, guys who have been coming back from injuries and been on minutes limits. I think those are going to start to loosen pretty soon. And uh, that's a way we can probably get ahead of the field a little bit, trying to keep an eye on those types of things. And I'll have more of that stuff ready for tomorrow on each individual slate. I'll keep, you know, re-mentioning this stuff. Um, just to take a quick look at the title at the title odds compared to the other ones. Yeah, it's pretty similar. They've got, the, they like the bucks a lot better over here. Um, but I wonder if you have, see, if you scroll down, just can you, can you try to do one? Do they have like this, the Clippers and, 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 and it's, it's hard, it's hard to, if you go show more on the, on the NBA finalist part of it. Oh, uh, just sorry. finalists. If you just scroll, scroll down, scroll down. If you just scroll down a little, like past this. Yeah, I got it. Sorry, uh, it says finalists right there. Clippers plus 11. That's to win the championship. Yeah, yeah. If you scroll down, though, you can go find them against Philly. You go here, conference division winners, right? Here. No, 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 because it's the finals. It would be that because it would be who's playing in the finals. So if you see, if you scroll down, yeah, right there, NBA finalists. Oh, you want the actual matchup. Yeah, okay. I want to see what, because I, 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 I think it might be like like 60 or 70 to one. And I think it's got a better chance than that. Um, which, to do which? Which? No, no, it's not. It's not quite seventy. Clippers and Sixers. Um, there it is, forty-four to one. Not quite was I, as good as I was hoping, but I think it's. I think it's still a decent bet. I really do. Um, weird finals, I know to say, but I, I mean, I'm not saying this is most likely, but these are the ones you can get some value on. I think these two, these both of the, neither of these teams are going to surprise anybody if they're in the finals this year. And I think this I think the Clippers team. would surprise people. Uh, the Clippers are right now. Every analyst is picking them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kawhi, that's the thing. I mean, like, like Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi has this has this thing about being like the greatest basketball player of all time. You know, like it's like uh, yes. no, that's that's the that's the uh, that's the analyst. That's the thing. I mean, when he's on the court, apparently he's the greatest player of all time. That's what's what happens. Kawhi though has been. He's finally like Kawhi. I mean, he's this guy shoots all he shoots is mid range jumpers, and he shoots like seventeen for twenty from the field every night. It's like and when he feels like playing defense, you can't score on him. <laughs> right, and you got Paul George there, and I and people are going to laugh at this, but I think Westbrook off the bench for that team with a with a burst that they have. I totally forgot. Of, he's, I totally forgot he's on the team. That's there's it. a lot of energy there, and they already have a very deep team with Man and Morris, and they they have a lot of guys who can play. Um, where they could probably even sustain an injury and still potentially win a playoff series. And they've done it before. So I, I kind of like the Clippers here as, as a, I, they're not even sneaky anymore, but I kind of like the Clippers and Sixers as a, as that weird bet. So if it happens, give me the credit. I'm probably going to have a friend for a hundred bucks on it for me because uh, it would be really nice to, to hit one. 44 like. to one. 44 to one. I like, I'd like it a little bit better if it was a different, you know, a little, a little, a little higher. I thought, I think it should be closer to 70 to one, but. Dude, dude we're, we're, like we're in. We're, dude, we're, we're in. 
We're in on it? All right. We're, we're going to split it. 200. 200? You don't need to go you that want, you, didn't, didn't you want 100? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do, I want 100. So there we go. 200, 200. to win 88, 8,800. We'll put it in when when um, when 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 I'm off Zoom. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Sounds good. Well, good luck to everybody for the second half of the year. Let's make some money. And uh, Sheets, anything else? Any other thoughts oh. before we get out here? Nope. All right. Good luck, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.